Hey guys, I'm Shreyam from Scala Studios. So today in this tutorial, we'll be making this real simple loop animation. It's about 100 frames and loops seamlessly and we'll be using all procedural materials. This is a beginner friendly tutorial, so you don't need to know much about Blender. In the future, I'll be doing some tutorials with animation nodes, but for this, we won't be needing anything at all. And the final animation is done in Eevee. So let's get on with it. So I have screencast keys on so you guys can see the keys I'm pressing in the left corner of the screen. So I'm going to press shift A and create a cylinder and S scale to scale it and delete the top faces and I'm going to add a solidify modifier and increase the thickness to about 0.2. I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier and move it on top and I'm going to apply the solidify, solidify modifier and and go to edit mode and add a loop cut with control control R and add another loop cut inside the cylinder with control R and two more loop cuts and scale it down and I'm going to face select mode and delete the bottom faces and add another cylinder and scale it down and scale it down again and do the same thing right click and shade smooth and I'm going to I'm going to press ctrl 2 and add a subdivision surface modifier and I'm going to hide the bottom cylinder with H delete the bottom face and Raise it up, place it, align it with the bottom one and scale it a little bit more. And I'm going to add another cylinder, scale it down and right click and control 2 and tab into edit mode and delete the top vertices and add a mirror modifier and I'm going to add a bevel the edges with control B and scale them down to make the edges smooth and scale it down and I'm going to apply the mirror modifier and add an array modifier and add the count make the count three and apply the array modifier and I'm going to edit mode with tab and I'm going to select that particular mesh and then add another array modifier and make the relative offset to minus one then you have to and go back to edit mode and select one edge of the cylinder and click L and then P and separate the object and I'm going to add another cylinder and make add six vertices scale it down Drag it up and scale S Z to scale it in the Z axis. And go to edit mode and drag the cylinder down until it meets the anchor point. And scale it down. Yeah. And I'm going to select the bottom cylinder first I'm gonna create two materials first to those two objects and I'm gonna select the bottom cylinder first and apply the subdivision surface modifier and control J to join the two objects together and press in 3 to go to side view I'm going to prepare my timeline now and make it 100 frames and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees and right click and add a keyframe and I'm going to the 100 frame and I'm going to add a keyframe there as well and going to 50th keyframe and making it 100 
making it minus 45 playing the animation and I'm adding separate materials to the other cylinders as well and I'm going to select the four cylinders on top first and then select the bottom cylinder and press ctrl J to join them together go to the first keyframe and add minus 180 or you can make it zero as well but I'm going to make it 180 and insert a keyframe and go 25 frames and make it make it zero right click and add another keyframe and go to 50 and make it 180 and add another keyframe and go to the 75th frame and make it 360 and add another keyframe go to the 100th frame and add those two together so I'm gonna save the scene now If you play the animation it's not very seamless yet so I'm going to animation and I'm going to select all the keyframes here and press right click and press linear then when you play it you can see the animation is seamless now so now I'm going to do the shading so we'll go to the shading window and add select the material and select the bottom material and add a monary texture and plug the distance into the base color and control T if you have the node rank add on enabled plug the object into the mapping node press control A and add scale to make the scale transform back to zero and add a color ramp Then you get this texture and play with the scale a bit. And I'm going to increase the randomness and decrease the, and increase the scale as the to about 10. Increase the randomness. I'm going to change the color to about uh, light purplish blue. going to copy these shaders and select and paste them in and I'm going to change the ordinary texture F1 into F2 it'll give me a nice material here as well so I'm going to change the name here of that of that material call it base and to the up and add the same material to the outer cylinder as well and I'm going to make it a separate material and I'm going to change the roughness of all the material to about all the materials to about 0 0.2 0 0.1 and I'm going to change this to distance and change the color add a noise texture and plug it in between the mapping and the texture coordinate and add a mix RGB node and plug the object into the bottom color slot and change the factor to, factor to about 0 0.8 and Play the color ramp a bit so I'm going to decrease the scale to about 5 and the distortion to about 10 and drag the sliders till I get the material I like and change the color a bit as well Now I'm going to add the camera and I'm going to press Ctrl Alt 0 and get my camera and I'm going to change the angle with press N, pressing N and lock camera to view and I'm going to place my camera and since we're doing this in EV we are, I'm going to take the bloom ambient occlusion and shadows and screen space reflections and now I'm going to take the camera off and scale and add a plane and scale it S10 to scale it 10 points and I'm going to duplicate that same 
plane and rotate it 90 degrees in the x-axis and I'm going to place it in the back. Now I'm going to do the lighting. I'm going to add an area lamp and increase the strength. Play the strength a bit until I'm happy with something. So I'm going to make this unlap and the strength to about one. And add another area where it increases in two by hundred. And duplicate the light again and put it in the back of the model and place it as our backlight. So right now I'm playing with the lights a bit until I get a look that I'm satisfied with. So what I've done to the in the render you might have seen the walls and everything have the same materials as well. So I just copied this, copied and pasted the same material to those the the bottom plane and the wall planes as well. So it's the same materials. And I'm going to add I'm going to add my output locations and if you guys want you can render a render it as a video as well but I'm going to render it as a PNG sequence so that's it for this video you guys so hope you guys enjoy this video so follow me on Instagram if you guys do this animation please don't forget to tag me in it so I can see your work and uh, so thank you guys for watching this video so if you guys have any questions please leave a comment below and like this video subscribe and thank you guys, see you.